Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the next installment of my collection series. I am going to try and do some decluttering of course as always. Um, so I'm doing lipsticks today and I have two drawers. I've got this one here. I've got the one below it. I have some goals. I would kind of love it if I could get all of my lip products to fit in one drawer but I don't think it's going to be possible. Also, I'm not really, I'm not going to declutter this or do too much with it. I am going to uh, reorganize it. So these things here, like this pile, are lipsticks that I tested in my testing all of my lip products video, which was really just my lipsticks. And I do, did it in two parts. So I've already kind of gone through these and decluttered um some of them and I don't have the mental capacity to do it again I have been here for hours filming these videos today I have to get through this one and then I've got eyeshadow palettes and that one is the one that is giving me the anxiety so I'm not going to bother decluttering this section of lipsticks I will just organize them when we get to the end. Same with this. I'm just going to pull it out because it's kind of in the way. It's the Milk Makeup Wu-Tang Lipstick. Uh, then I have glosses here. These are the Kaleidos Cloud Lab Lip Clays. Uh, I am going to keep them. Although I don't wear matte lipsticks or liquid lipsticks um, pretty much ever. Uh, I keep them because they're great to have for uh, comparing when they bring out new shades. So I am keeping them. I am just going to pull them out though because uh, then I will be able to let's put that there. I will be able to pull this forward. Oh god, really? Pull this forward. <laughs> And have better access to what's at the back here. So let's just shove them in there. That's a problem for later. I want to start with this. This is the NARS uh, Underground Velvet Lip Glide Set from a holiday series a few years ago. I bought two of these, but there's only one shade that I want to keep in here. It's Camden Girls. I have one somewhere. Um... I don't know where. We'll find it eventually. The other two I am just going to straight up declutter. They have not been used. They can go. Uh, okay. Lisa Eldridge. These are the Muse. No. These are the, the lip glosses. What are they called? They have a special name, don't they? Anyway, I've got a fair here and I've got Muse here. I will hold on to those. Let me move these down. Uh, okay, this is from, it's a brand called Mina, I don't know, anyway, it's a, a nude gloss, um, I like it, it smells fine, I feel like I'm going to have a, not, a lot of nude glosses, um, I have Colourpop Calming Circle, this is a Fresh Kiss lip cream, these are quite nice, uh, I think I'll hold on to that one. Can we make a maybe pile? We're making a maybe pile. Uh, this is a Mecca Lip Slip Lip Balm in the shade Vanilla Bean. Uh, it's like a nude balm, which I think I will also hold on to. I just got this recently in PR. Not super recently, but I haven't really used it. Looks pretty gross going on the lips like that, but... I feel like I might like that. I'd like to try it out. Here I have two of the Ulta 3 Lip Glaze Tinted Oils. So this one is Divine. And this one, the other one, is Angelic. If I can get it open. These smell amazing. I think I will hold on to Angelic. Why is there a fly in here? Far out. Holding on to Angelic, I'm going to get rid of Divine. I'm also going to kill a fly, B.I.B. Okay, let's continue. I have a whole bunch of lip glosses here from JD Glow Cosmetics. I think I, think I might just get rid of them. 
yeah I'm kind of interested in this one this might be a wearable shade oh they're very sticky no I think I'm just gonna get rid of them they still smell good I have to say their lip glosses smell amazing they're like delicious baked goods um they do have this one what's it called quartz maybe like a clear is look I'll hold on to the clear I would like to like actually give them a good solid crack I've only used a couple here and there but I really do want to minimize this um but I would like to try one and I, I think it's fair enough that I would like to try one um I don't really know what to do about this shade I think it was actually this wasn't it no was that the what shade are you yeah this is this is that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get rid of this one because that has dried down matte and I probably won't be all that interested in using it um, I think what we'll do is we'll go down to the next drawer we'll go through that because maybe just maybe I will be able to fit it all in one drawer. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Okay, so these are going to be mostly lipstick, sorry, uh, lip glosses and liquid lipstick type products. Um, I have these guys from Too Faced. They are different sets, but I feel like somewhere in here I have minis. One of these is duplicate, I'm sure. So I'll get to that in... A minute let's put it there uh this is a lip gloss from christian louboutin freya stop chasing the cat my god she's a devil um come get your dog uh, uh, i am gonna hold on to that one i'm just gonna set that aside i have some mini lipsticks in here which i opted to keep i am uh also for now i'm just going to keep them i'm gonna set those aside as well uh some yeah that's that's fine gingerbread man from Too faced i'm pretty sure these are duplicates of, as well but i'll wait until i find them in here and then i have my lip liners which i also want to go through with you guys so i'm going to set them aside let's pull this down first let's start with this something i know i want to get rid of this is the danessa Mirix color fix glaze it's a long wear gloss for like face eyes lips i'm just not going to use it so i'm going to get rid of that one nars let's pull out a bunch of nars here what have we got we've got power matte lip pigments they're mattes obviously and then we have the velvet lip glides now the velvet lip glides i can totally wear do these guys look almost identical to you they're very similar i really enjoy this formula so that's a mauve the other one's a mauve as well i'll show you the difference i promise there is a mi minor difference in these <sighs> <laughs> not that you can tell these two i am going to hold on to let me just check their scent they smell that one smells fine at least yeah these are fine so i'm going to hold on to them the power mats i tell you what these are nice um but they are very matte um they go on like a liquid and then they set down they definitely need a shake these haven't been touched in ages you can see how that one's running um i am going to declutter both of these that's how the formula should be not like this so the both shaked shake 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 let's do this one again there we go that's better uh really beautiful color i do enjoy it but i i know i'm probably not gonna reach for it so there's that um i don't wear a lot of lip, a lot of matte lip products anymore um because i have dry lips but there are some that i know for a fact that i want to keep here mostly in the Too Faced section down here so you know i'm gonna get rid of some and i'm gonna keep others i think i might do these nabla shine theory lip glosses Let's have a look at these. Oh, man, I loved these. 
these were really lovely this one is unfortunately broken i'm just gonna smell them and give them a swatch that shade i will get rid of it's broken it smells fine um but it's probably a bit darker than i would like Okay, those ones I'm going to hold on to and I'll see how I go with them in the future. I think I will do all of my ColourPop at once. Um, is this all that I have from NYX? Is it? Is it really? Okay, well, there we go. I think this is the only shade I have from NYX, which is fantastic. It's a lip luster. It's a really beautiful mauve shade. I'm going to... Hold on to that one. Yep, smells fine. That's good. Uh, this is Sexy Mother Pucker from uh, Soap and Glory. Let's have a look. Oh, it smells fine. I don't mind these. Um, I quite like this color, actually. It's really, really sheer, kind of mauvey shade. They do have a spiciness to them. Uh, I think I'll hold on to it for now. Uh, I am going to go through all of my lip glosses and actually test them out sometime next year. So there is room for more decluttering. This is Diamond Walk from Jouer. It is a sheer pigment lip gloss. It does not smell right. So I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, these from Laura Mercier are fairly new to me. They are the Lip Glacé. I have Cream Caramel. This one is Baby Doll and this one is Vanille. I'm going to hold on to those three. Uh, okay, Lana Lips. Let's see. Tinted Lip Balms. Uh, this one is Nectar. I just want to make sure that these still smell okay. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really a fan of Lana Lips. In, actually, I'm, yeah, I'm not a fan of Lana Lips. I'm going to get rid of both of them. I'm using um, one of their balms at the moment and it's okay, but it's not my favorite. Uh, so I'm happy to just like let it go. This is a luxe liquid lipstick in Lao Tong from XO Beauty. Hey, I'm going to shake these because God knows they've not been used. Wow. Wow. I'm going to see how that dries down. It smells fine. That's a maybe. Uh, okay. These are from YSL. This is going to make me cry. Uh, they are the Tatouage Couture Matte Stains. I have three shades. And I'm probably going to get rid of these. Um, they are very drying. I would say even more so, like, if I wanted to, I would say American Woman from NARS would be a good alternative to keep because the formula of these is very, very light. So for some reason, it's just not as drying. But also, I just, I'm concerned about that formula because it just keeps bleeding. I'm definitely not going to keep them. Um, the YSL ones are, they're very light as well. Like you'll see when they go on, they're very liquidy. They smell fine. They have this like, they almost smell like, kind of like wine or something to me. Uh, the berry, these are meant to stain the lips. Um... The nude is gorgeous, and I'm tempted to keep it. Let's just see how it dries down. Those two purple shades can both go, though. Put this in the maybe pile. Oh, I do have a NYX Butter Gloss. Okay, I think I will get rid of this. <laughs> it smells fine, but I'm going to get rid of it. Um, oh, there's a another lip luster from NYX. I knew I had more. This smells great too. That's a really beautiful, like, bright, bright, bright orange shade. Let's put this over here. Uh, this is a Revlon Kiss Glow Lip Oil. These were nice. We did a makeup breakup on these. They were fun with the, like, um, static where the lip gloss pulls back into the tube. Really, really cool. Um, this is nice. It smells fine. 
going to hold on to that. Uh, Christian Dior. Uh, these were... Oh, wait. Maybe these were the really dry ones, not the YSL. Oh, I don't remember. It's been a while, guys. It has been a while. This colour is stunning, though. There we go. That's gorgeous. Uh, or maybe these weren't that dry. Oh, that mauve. That mauve. I don't know if I'm going to want to get rid of them. And they smell minty like they always do. So we will see. Uh, Colourpop, so juicy. And the Luxe Lip Oils. Um, okay, Colourpop. I have a bit of Colourpop. I'm just going to leave Colourpop for a minute. Let's continue on. Uh, this is the Elf Mint Melt Lip Plumping Gloss. It smells great. It's like minty vanilla. Oh, fuck, it's... Oh, choc vanilla. Yeah, maybe like choc... Sorry, choc mint. Far out. My brain is fried. You just stay there. I'm getting rid of the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson Gloss, but I think... I've kept the palettes. Do I care about... No, I'm just getting rid of it. I don't care. Uh, these are from uh, Kaleidos. These are the Lucid Lip Glosses. I'm just going to hold on to them. I'll check that they smell okay. I'm not sure if, um, if Kaleidos still make these. I'm not sure. But I get PR from Kaleidos. So I would ultimately like to... Uh, hold on to them in case I need them for future reference and I mean if they don't release any in like the next year then fine I'll get rid of them also I'm making decisions about what is happening here okay so this XO Beauty one is not really like setting down super super matte so I'm gonna hold on to, to it uh, the YSL is also not setting down as matte I think it maybe it was these because they no these are still wet look i'm just fuck it i'm just keeping it it's fine it's fine don't need to analyze it that much uh this here is the uh i'm mimi lip jelly i'm just gonna get rid of that i don't need to keep it that is are these all color pop no that's nabla look let's just put that there uh ysl this is the volupt tint in oil in the shade i have no idea no idea oh god they smell so good they're like melon yum uh i'm keeping that i'm also going to keep the tony moly shocking lip in rose shocking yep that still smells great it is um i mean the cat's favorites i don't usually wear lip stains but this one i am very happy to hold on to Wow, look how quickly that stains. Holy shit. Okay. Alrighty. Um, what are these? These are from Nabla. These I love. So these are kind of like a um, liquid, like a, they are a liquid lipstick, but they're not a matte liquid lipstick. They're super comfortable to wear. I'm just going to check the scent, but otherwise I'm keeping them all. Yep, we're good. I think we will be okay. Yep, I'm keeping them. I really like them. Uh, Suva Beauty. These are also liquid lipsticks. You know, there's some pretty fucking funky colors here. Oh, they smell great still. Um, that one is Strange. And I'm not willing to get rid of it just yet. This one is Bad Nam. Ow, how did I just hurt myself with such a short nail? This one is Awakening. It's going to be too light. Maybe too light, but that can be determined in the future. I think I will probably get rid of these two. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of the pink. And this one is... Beshram. I'll get rid of Beshram as well. And I will keep the other three. Uh, Alright, let's collect some Colourpop. Colourpop. 
Uh, sexy mother pucker from Soap and Glory. How do I feel about this? Sh Look, I kept a mini. I'm going to... Did I keep the mini? Yeah, I did. I kept a mini. I'm going to get rid of this larger one. Um, that's not Colourpop. That's Colourpop. I just want to make sure I don't have any liquid lipsticks here from Colourpop. If they're all lip glosses, that's fine. Yes, I love the Ultra, Ultra Glossy Lips. They are my favourite lip gloss formula from Colourpop. And honestly, they should have, like, not bothered with, like, any of the Luxe line or this line because it's just not as good they should have just focused on these make the packaging better maybe like bring out limited edition scents shit like that so i'm just going to run through these and smell them to make sure they're all okay so there's four that smell just fine but these two don't the one from the kathleen lights collection doesn't smell pretty much like anything except kind of raw ingredients and this one is it's like its smell is fading so i'm just going to get rid of that i do have a so juicy and a luxe lip oil here i'm not really too sure how i feel about them i think the luxe lip oil can be okay but it depends on the color this one is blossom out and i've only worn it once and i kind of enjoyed it then i have the so juicy in she's here same deal i'm just not really sure how i feel this is a lipstick queen lip restore balm that can stay i have uh four of the revlon kiss plumping lip creams i'm gonna hold on to those as well this is the girl boss uh demi matte lip cream which really isn't demi matte at all um i like the shade i will check the scent oh it smells like grape bubble gum they're amazing um i'm gonna hold on to that i like the color then i have what do we got we've got mac and we've got Too faced and i've got another one from exo beauty this is cup adm let's have a look at this one that is a beautiful shade fuck it i'm just gonna hold on to it um i may cull more of these if i can't make them fit all in this one drawer uh and now i have two lip glosses from mac i've got uh fashion punch here and i've got cream pie here so let's smell them first no no okay easy decision made uh all right two face let's do the big ones i want to see gingerbread man gingerbread girl gingerbread man yeah so I already have a gingerbread man that's open. I'm going to declutter those two. Let's check the scent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yum. I Look, I'm a bit hungry. I've been here all day. I didn't sleep well last night, which makes me more hungry. Does anyone else feel like that? Um, and I dead set could have just shoved that in my mouth and licked it when I smelt that. I know that's gross. And I didn't, but smells good. That's what I'm saying. All right, this one is Gingerbread Girl. Yum. Oh, you want to swatch so you can see the difference? There we go. Uh, they smell divine. Uh, then I have the standard melted mattes. So let's go through these colors. I've got Wine Knot. This one is Evil Twin, which is a really, really, really dark purple. It looks almost black. Uh, I have Suck It. Suck It is a beautiful shade. Queen Bee was my first and favorite. Absolutely stunning shade. And then I have Sell Out, which also is a really beautiful shade. And finally, I have uh, my little melted mini set. Let's have a look. I'm sure one of these sets is like a duplicate. Or was it three years in a row? I don't remember. Let me double check. I have everything that's in this set, so I am going to get rid of that. This set, I it was a different year. These all smell fine, so happy to hold on to them. And then this one here was uh, Lady Balls, which was their, like, you know, true red. I just bought a mini because, you know, 
that's uh, not a common color for me to wear. Uh, anyway, that's that. I'm keeping that, although I feel like I need to take this out of the box. Well, um, let's see how we can go with fitting stuff in here first. Based on what I'm seeing here, it's not looking good, but we'll see. How many I can get in, maybe then I'll be able to choose some to get rid of. There we go, they fit. Okay, now I need to organize them. Um, I will take these out of the box. Oh, let's do it now, for God's sake. I wanna organize these as nicely as I can. So let me start. This is why I don't like to have them at the front. <laughs> all right, that's all my lip products. They all fit into one drawer, which is great. I mean, I don't see it growing. I only see it getting smaller over time. So I'm happy with what I've done so far. Uh, I do want to take you through my lip liners and I do want to get rid of some of these. I'm going to be looking for similar colors to declutter uh, and also anything that is dry straight off the bat. I'm going to get rid of ColourPop Beeper. It's a really beautiful nude shade, but like there's really not a whole lot going on there. So I think that can just go. Let's try these Nabla ones. So these are the close up lip shapers. Let's see. Beautiful nude or oh, brown. Oh, I like that. I think these guys will probably stay. I'm sure they're all going to start to look very similar. And I don't really care. I love a nude lip liner. So I think I will actually get rid of the darkest shade. Because I'm not likely to use it very often. The others I am most likely to sort of use like quite often i can see myself like panning a lot of them so those guys i will hold on to i don't store my lip liners in here i store them in a cup on my desk um but because i always forget to declutter them i was like i'm putting them in the lipstick drawer this time and uh i'm getting it done so we're doing it uh the hindash hush lip tone pencil this one I am going to hold on to as well. Um, okay, Natasha Denona. 
I have two of these. There's one inside. This is a I Need a Nude Lip Crayon in the shade Noah. This is really beautiful. And I'm definitely keeping it. Really fantastic formula. Um, let's do my ColourPop ones. I love the ColourPop lip liners. Just going to say it. Uh, they can dry out though. So there's that. Let's try this one first. It's the uh, Becky G in... Munika, Munika. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. My apologies. Um, I like that. It looks very similar to Beeper. I think I will hold on to that. This one is so happy. I feel like there's something in the uh, Nabla that's quite similar. So I will get rid of that one. Also, it feels drier. This one is uh, Creature. No, no, I can feel it's shrunk in there. You can see it's like pushed all the way back into the pencil. Well, you can't see because the camera can't focus. Um, I'm not going to keep that. It can go. Uh, this one is uh, Ellery. Again, nope, it's pushed all the way in. I'm not even going to bother. Uh, let's just have a look at these. Okay, this one is Bichette, which is falling out. And it's dry. No, goodbye. Uh, this one is what bossy. Let's have a look. Mm, I love the color, but it's dry. I've had it for a long time. And this one is contempo. Also dry. No, goodbye. Excellent. Good. Problem solved. Uh, what else have I got? Let's swatch the last of these. So I have this one here from Essence. It's Draw the Line in the shade. Uh, so ungrateful. Haha, <laughs> boomtish. Uh, let's see what this is like. Oh, that's nice. Sure, I'll keep that. Interesting color. Uh, XO Beauty, this is Tracy. This is also an interesting color, kind of like lavender shade. I'm going to hold on to that. I have the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in 240 Shoop, which if I can get the lid off, I will probably want to keep. Yeah, that is such a grungy brown. That's so cool. Love that. Love that whole collection. That was so good. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury, Pillow Talk, Lip Cheat. Sure, I'll keep that. And last one I've got is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Muse. It's like doing the ColourPop thing. Why are you shrinking? Can't be bothered. I don't want it. Goodbye. Uh, so, there's that. I, uh, I'll show you my little lip liner pile as well. It's, it's shrunk, which is great. Um... It's more than enough and I got rid of more than I expected to as well so that's good um, let's take a look at how many things I actually got rid of in this declutter though before we do that I just realized that these are not going to fit no I'm not taking them out of their box don't ask okay that one I can make fit this one I can also make fit jigsaw puzzle Yes, success. Here is everything. I believe there are 47 items here out of my lip collection, which is fantastic. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm also happy that everything fits into one drawer, barely. Uh, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Look, it's better than nothing. So there we go, 47 products. Um, I'm going to leave that there. I will catch you in tomorrow's video, which is going to be my eyeshadow palette video, which is my last collection video. After that, you'll get my inventory video and we can uh, go over my numbers and compare them to last year, which has been like the best way for me to keep track of um, how much I actually use. So it helps me to to decide like how much I should be buying and also it helps me to like whittle down my collection because I can see which areas are really like overstocked and what's not too bad so even I look forward to my inventory video every year and that is why I do these as well to sort of 
uh, check my numbers and all that stuff. So I'm going to go less waffling, more decluttering. On to eyeshadow palettes. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.